Hey guys, thank you for watching and welcome to my channel. This is Breaking Burke. It is about houseplants and gardening here in the desert of Albuquerque, New Mexico. In today's video, I wanted to share with you one of my plants that was doing super well. And then when I got my job, I kind of started to neglect it a little. And it there were a couple issues. It should have been up potted and I thought I can manage. I was watering it every day, which is way too often for a plant like this, but it was working. The plant looked good, it was nice and full, and it was growing. It grew over six feet long. You can see one of these naked whips here. Just keeps going. But it did start to slowly lose its leaves, and I should have done something sooner. I just didn't, and then it gets tangled there. But yeah, really long whips. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna try and save this and make more plants. It does, like I say, need to be up potted, which will happen after, but there's a couple ways you can do layering. Layering is making propagations while they're still connected to the mother plant. Now, some people do it in moss, which I'm going to show you an option for that. And uh, there's another way you can do it where you just take a pot of soil and you get a handful of these strands, lay them in contact with the soil. Some people will even take them and whip them around. Similar to that. And then when they take off, you get 20 or 30 little plantlets coming out of there rather than just a few little starts. That's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do it right now just because all you have to do is put it in there, uh, pin it down if you want to, or add a light layer of soil. I've showed that in other videos. And this other way, my little uh, containers that I like to use, some people use saran wrap or baggies. Just take a handful of these again. I cut slits in both sides and I put some moist moss. So just put the vines through the holes that I cut and see, we'll have multiple nodes going across and cover it. Now, since it is still attached to the mother plant, less chance of it rotting, more chance of success, and we could even take it off and whip them around in there. And I think I might do that to a few of them. Like I said, I do have quite a bit of growth on this, so I think I'm gonna put it on a shelf and just leave it in, intact. I might show it in a short or something when it's finished. But hopefully I will have some positive updates for you. You can see uh, at each node, where it gets fat, right there, there. It looks like it's already starting to develop roots from the humidity in the air. So I don't think this will take very long. And the plant was healthy before I starved it of water. So chances are it should bounce back with a little bit of love. You can see on the left, here's another plant that I got that really hadn't gone past the side. And that one was actually a rehab that I showed in the video. It was losing all kinds of growth. But that one I've managed to bring back and it is uh, bouncing back nicely. So I do have faith that I can fix it. I just have to not neglect it so much or make sure to pot it up because life does happen and that's not fair for the plant. It shouldn't look like this. But opportunity. It's opportunity to propagate. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you in the next video. Bye.